Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Many of you would have seen the movie Ghazi Attack, which was released in 2017. Today's video is about a main part of the movie, the submarine. A submarine is a water-based vessel which is capable of underwater travel for long durations of time. This is the INS Chakra, the largest submarine in the Indian Navy. It has a total water displacement of 8,140 tons and can travel up to a speed of 35 knots. The submarine can dive up to a depth of 450 meters and stay submerged up to 100 days. It is 110 meters long and 13.5 meters wide. It is 34 meters longer than the world's longest commercial aircraft, the Boeing 747. The submarine is also 7.5 meters wider than the 747. Now, if you think that this is big, in the early 80s, the Russians built the Typhoon class submarine, which is 175 meters long and 23 meters wide. This is longer than two Boeing 747s placed in front of each other. In spite of the behemoth size of these submarines, the method used by them to rise and sink in the water is very simple. They follow the Archimedes principle. Any object fully or partially immersed in a stationary fluid is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. This statement sounds a bit confusing, right? Don't worry, we'll explain it with a simple example. Let's presume you have an empty water bottle. You close the cap tightly. Now you throw this empty bottle in a water container. It floats, right? Now you fill half the bottle with water and again throw it in the container with the water. The bottle sinks partially up to the water level in the water bottle, but it still floats. Now, this time you fill the entire bottle with water and drop it into the container. The entire bottle sinks. This is the very principle behind the sinking and rising of the submarines. Submarines are aerodynamically shaped water bottles with provisions for human beings and propulsion. Submarines have water holding tanks called the external ballast tanks surrounding the hull in a concentric manner. These tanks have valves known as Kingston valves at the bottom and air vent flaps on the top. These are used to regulate the flow of water and air in and out of the ballast tanks. When there is no water in the ballast tanks, the submarines act like an empty water bottle and floats on the surface of the water. When the submarine wants to dive, the air vent flaps and the Kingston valves are opened. This causes the surrounding water to rush into the ballast tank and displace the air. When the ballast tanks are fully filled with water, the submarine is fully submerged in water. When the submarine wants to rise up to the surface, the air vent flaps are closed shut and the Kingston valves are kept open. Compressed air at around 400 to 600 bar pressure is pumped into the ballast tanks. When all the water is displaced from the tanks, the Kingston valves are closed. This causes the submarine to rise up to the surface of the water. In addition to the valves, submarines also have rudders and horizontal stabilizers which help in underwater movement. Well, that's it guys. Hope you've understood the topic and we'll meet again in the next video. Bye.